All right. So at this point, as I'm working on this finishing painting, it's a good time to assess what's kind of working and what's not. Right? And as you position to, to make final decisions, you can decide. Let's see. What elements are working well? What's needed? And I'm realizing his nose, the space between the bottom of his nose and the top of his nose and the corner of his eyes needs to be a little bit longer. And so these are, these are big issues which require you to make some strong decisions. So I'm going to turn on that base painting layer. I'm going to take all of these layers, even the sketch layer, right? And I'm going to say, oh, well, let's first put them in a folder. And then I'm going to duplicate that folder. Now on that whole group, I'm going to take all of that information and I'm going to try to think if there's a more efficient way to do this. Let's turn off the background layers. I'm going to hold down Option and say Layer, Merge Visible. Because I've, I've worked around the eyes about as much as I want to. Move that above the group. And then turn that group copy off. Right. All right, so now I can turn back on these backgrounds. And I have all my painting layers merged at full opacity. You can even see... Um, the haziness of the sketch layer there, the white, which isn't, yeah, which isn't altogether bad. All right, so now I think the eyebrows are in the right place. The eyes just need to be shifted up a little bit. So I'm going to take this whole section. I think just because I was ringing around the bottom, I didn't let them be narrow quite enough. This whole section, duplicate it. That way I can float it above all my painting layers. Then I'm going to try to just warp it. And just like that. Very subtly. Push that middle bottom up so the space between the inside of the eye and the nose gets a little bit longer and then maybe tweak the corners a little bit remember lightness is not about details it's all about the placement i played with it a lot early on and just want to kind of recognize what's working and what's not as you're finishing it up. All right. So that little bit helps. I feel like the mouth has a similar issue. Take this whole structure. Move it a little bit to the left. I think I just drew it a little far. Make a duplicate of it. Already that's looking <laughs> looking a little better. Let's see if I could be a little bit more smooth about it. Again, this is the reason I love digital painting. It's like you were painting on clay the whole time and it's all malleable. We can move move it around. Each layer, the sketch and all. That's what's amazing. The reason I had to merge them together is so I could move all those aspects together. And then just erase away from the hard edges that are around. 
and it just places the melt a little bit more securely. See a big difference. It's little things. I'm just squinting and looking. The hair hairline could be moved up a little bit. Not a whole lot. Let's take this whole thing. And just play with warping it just a little bit. adjusting a wig. Yes, that helps. And I'm sure there's lots of other things that I could see. So, but these three areas I just adjusted slightly. And now I can go around and soften those hard edges to help them blend with what will be behind them. And I can merge these all together. So I don't have to move between layers to work with. And especially around the eyes, sometimes hard edges aren't a bad idea. All right. So now I can turn that off. I don't need that flattened layer anymore. And I can go to my individual group layers and then do what I was doing with the finishing painting. <clears throat> Knowing that certain aspects are now fairly finished off. So the lips, the, uh, the eyes, the nose, so not the nose so much, but the, the eyes, the lips, and the hairline. And those are now on top of what I have. And I can play with their opacity. So that would be a pretty bad idea. So instead, now I'm working on the finishing layers behind. So it's what we call the triangle of proportion, you know, where the the lips, the nose, and the, the eyes all kind of work together. But also, it's a little bit more subtle than that with the ears and the hairline. And getting those shapes right, those proportions right, is more important than the details, by far. With that in mind, shaping the hairline around, around the ears can help, too. Pushing that a little bit. Now I'm a lot happier with the likeness, which I was losing. Not because I was making any wrong decisions or observing something wrong with my colors or my shadows, but just because that placement was a little bit off. And as I painted around it and kind of cemented around the eyes and stuff, it just keeps pushing it a little bit further off until it really becomes an issue. All right, so a lot of this I'm liking to figure out how to finish this off.
This background paper, I think, helps a lot. Let me set the tone. Just notice how different it would be without it. But it still does very much look like a pastel and a crayon. And I think just that subtleness of the Toulouse-Lautrec behind. is helpful too. Right. Keep painting, keep painting. I've opened up and unlocked these these copy layers so that I can adjust them. If needed. I still have that base painting layer only at about 50%. All right, so I just got to address the few areas that still bug me, kind of finding where the collar is. Cementing that a little bit better. Don't like that color very much. I'm not sure why. Okay with it being in the background of things. Top of everything bugs me. I don't want anything to get too fussy. Which is another difficulty at this stage. Remember, I moved the, the flower in so I don't have to have this strong arrow kind of pulling the attention away. Some lines help and some hurt. So I, I get to decide kind of what those are. Remember this kind of cross hatching is very helpful. Okay, now it might be time to start thinking about the background a little bit. how I kind of frame certain parts. You see how it's darker here where the highlight is? It's kind of a classic Sears portrait way. And so I might do that behind the group. So a new layer on top of this and just start kind of scribbling in behind the head here. I'll play with the opacity and such of, of this later. Give it some tone. 